G'day and welcome to the third episode in our eight part Go Make Some Memories Convoy for Charity. Now this week we're continuing in our exploration of beautiful Tathra. Absolutely spot on. Our mates at GNS Shazzy said, hey, why don't you hook up eight of the best of the best caravans, take them to New South Wales and explore the Sapphire Coast. And that is exactly what we're doing. And while we're on the road, Macca, of course, we're helping to raise much needed funds and awareness in partnership with the Cure Brain Cancer Foundation. Let's go and check out the rest of Tathra as we show you what's up. Yeah, it's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. What's up down under? On today's episode, we'll be getting to know more of gorgeous Tathra for our second stop on our Go Make Some Memories Convoy for Charity. Later on in our journey, we'll be continuing up the coast and stopping in at Bermagui, Batemans Bay, Jervis Bay, and then finally, we'll end up in Kiama. But of course, not without the help of our incredible convoy in eight of the best of the best caravans. The Dyson family from Caravanning with Kids are back for this year's Convoy for Charity in the JB Caravans Marlin. Joining us from May West Caravans is Peter and Charlene May towing the incredible Nova Caravans Vita. First time convoyers David and Shelley Ridgely are in the comfy Excalibur from Crusader Caravans. And joining us for their first Convoy for Charity, Al and Dee from Discovering the Best You are breaking ground in the Avita Rock. Convoy for Charity experts Fireman Ron and Di Sinclair are staying in the extraordinary Lotus Caravans Freelander. Bush poet Dave Proust and wife Therese are taking things to a new level in the Next Gen Caravan's next level. Bruce and Mark from Baby Boomers on the Road are making the Paramount Caravans Commander their home away from home. Tathra is a gorgeous seaside town located on New South Wales' Sapphire Coast. From fishing to surfing, Tathra has all you need to keep active and outdoors. It's even home to over 55 kilometres of mountain bike tracks. There's also a rich history which you can learn about when you visit. But for now, why don't you catch up with Maka, who's finding out about one of Tathra's most historic icons. <laughs> 